The VOR questions are some of the most difficult, and the VOR can be difficult to explain. In this question, our VOR is tuned to the bottom vortex, and the aircraft is positioned over the town of Sulphur Springs, and it's asking which indication is correct. We'll look at indicators 1, 8, and 7. So first we'll find Bonham VOR in the upper left-hand part of our chart, and the town of Sulphur Springs is indicated in yellow here, which is the location of our aircraft. So we're tuned to the Bonham VOR. Let's not confuse. We're not tuned to Sulphur Springs. We're tuned to Bonham VOR. And our number one VOR indicator indicates that we are referencing the 30-degree radial. Radials always emit from the VOR, so we may need to lay a plotter across this compass rose since the VOR is cut off by the chart, and we'll draw out our 30-degree radial on this VOR. We use the Omni Bearing Selector knob to set the Omni Bearing, or, or as we call it, the radial that we want to consider. Then our indicator tells us whether we are left or right of the course, the dot in the middle represents our aircraft, and the to from flag tells us whether we're located as if we would need to fly to the radial, or if our location is from the station on the same side as the radial that we have selected. This VOR with the bearing of 30 degrees, the indicator shows that we are far right of course. Now even though the VOR does not give us any heading information, we need to mentally consider that our aircraft is pointed in the direction of our radial or 30 degrees so that we interpret left and right correctly. So our number one indicator is a potential correct answer, except that Sulphur Springs is located right on the line of being neither to nor from. So let's look at our next indicator. Indicator eight is selected to a radial of 210 degrees from the station, and it shows that we are right on course. Now we're not right on course from the station, we are right on course to the station. So that would place us northeast of the VOR exactly in line with the 210 degree radial. And finally, indicator seven also references 210 degrees. And if we would mentally position our heading as if we were flying 210 degrees, we would interpret correctly that our aircraft is far left, of course. So if we were headed southwest and our aircraft is far left, of course, it's over here someplace, and the to from flag shows that we are neither to nor from the station. So number seven does indicate that we would be exactly perpendicular to the 210 degree radial and far left, of course. So number seven is correct.